What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Masters of the Universe Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun 3 pack. So we have this 3 pack. I think this was a Target exclusive that comes with three of our figures from the Sun Man universe. So we have Kick Toe, which is an expert boxer. We have Holographo, which is a futuristic scientist. And Zatman, which is a micro laser specialist. So those three look really cool. I like the designs and uniqueness of each one with each of their different abilities that we'll go into. But this will finish off our Sun Man characters. I think this is the last set that we have to get characters from the rulers of the sun universe now i did notice on this box they have these weird creatures here in the background so i was like it'd be cool if we got those that you could like army build and stuff since the only bad thing we have is the pig man so it'd be cool to get those creatures that go along with the sun man characters but yeah these are our last characters so i'm excited to check them out so let me get them out of the box and we'll take a look at them together so we're going to start off with Kikdo, which is the expert kickboxer and martial artist sworn to battle evil. And since this is part of the Sun Man, you know, we have a lot of characters with the darker skin tones. So we have a black character, which looks pretty decent overall. Of course, that's the same sort of Sun Man design we'll see on all the characters. So he has like a pinkish purple sort of underwear piece with the matching diamond and white all around the belt. And then he's white everywhere else. So he has this white like strap coming around onto his chest. He's got white gauntlets with these like ninja stars that are called kick discs on him. So he got those there and we'll have more of them all the way down to his boots that are in the all white as well just with the pinkish color on the tips there as well so I love his design just with the pink thrown in against the white standing out against the skin just looks really nice and then we have the face that's pretty similar to what we've seen before I forget which characters of course so I'll bring all the characters in at the end but we've seen this face before they just changed the color of it so it looks pretty nice with the hair up with the flat top design so overall looks pretty nice for Kikto but for movements, we get the head that'll twist all the way around, can look down that far and up that far, so nice movements. The shoulders come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. And we get the single elbow joint that bends to 90 with the rotation, and the wrist will twist all the way around and hinge back and forth. So now it has this gauntlet there, so it's going to be in the way a little, so it's hard to really get the hinge, but it does move back and forth. But then we go to the twist all the way around at the waist. The hips can come up a little and out to the side. The single knee joint back with the rotation, then the shin twist all the way around at the top of the boot and the foot flexes back and forth and twists side to side. So with those movements we'll see all that exactly with the other two characters as well. Both him we do get extra accessories so similar to his wrist gauntlets that have the kick discs on him we do also get some for his thighs so we have these thigh holsters so we can like sort of pop them on his thighs. So there he has the guards on his thighs and with that we do get two more kick discs. So we have these kick discs that we can just take and slide on there and obviously with any of these we can pop them off and he's you know can be able to I guess kick them since they're called kick discs and they do have like exploding power when they hit but we can also stick one on his chest there as well again I don't know what the whole function is of all this stuff but he can have you know put it there and like I said with the calm kick distance since his name's kick Don, he's a martial artist I assume he kicks them but again don't really know much beyond that and sort of guessing what he does but we can just take these and storm there back on his thigh so he's got all those discs on him which look pretty awesome and what's really cool is he also comes with a knife which I don't think we've had any mode 2 characters that come with a knife so it's really cool to get one so we can take and put this into his hand so there kick Dough has the knife as well so he's got the kick disc and the knife which looks pretty crazy and that looks awesome so overall I like the design for kick dough here and next up we have Holographo which is a futuristic scientist from a distant part of the universe that can capture freeze and manipulate illusions with his lenticular chest shield so he looks pretty awesome once again so he's got the dark skin tone a little bit lighter design but still looks pretty nice so I like his like face design how he has a beard I don't really know if we've had any with a beard so that's pretty cool and the hair design so it looks you know a little bit puffy and curly it's like a very short afro and then his color design of the red and blue so he's got the blue underwear with the red diamond and black around the belt and then the gauntlets on his hands with the red and blue and then same with his boots mostly all red with the blue tips then he has his holographic or lenticular chest which doesn't really do much you can see if you twist it side to side it sort of just switches colors there it's not like a normal lenticular where there's something that like has action to it or moves or changes stances or anything it's just just sort of changes colors as it goes side to side but apparently it helps him in fighting so that's pretty cool I guess so we have that chest harness there that goes all the way up around with the strap and around to the belt there so pretty neat design once again it looks like he just has giant pizza on his chest but movements are going to be the same so the head can twist all the way around look down that far and up that far so decent shoulders up 90 rotate around single elbow joint that can bend to 90 with the rotation wrist twist all the way around and hinge back and forth twist all the way around at the waist hips come up very little and out to the side single knee joint back with the rotation shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot flex back and forth and twist side to side so once again the exact same movements 
but accessory wise the one thing he comes with is this big sword which also has the design at the bottom for the hilt to protect his hand as the shield on his chest so that's pretty cool with like that honeycomb design to it so we have that but let's go and put this sword in his hand so there holographo has his sword it's a little bit bent up from the pack gene but not too bad and overall i guess there he looks pretty cool i like his design overall just weird with this big piece on his chest and then the giant sword with that same design so pretty weird overall but i like his overall look and our final character of the pack is Zatman, which is a micro laser specialist ready to fend off technology attacks with elaborate harness and wrist armor with tech towers on it. So overall, he looks pretty cool. Now, he has the design. I want to say it's more of like the Spanish character. Not really sure. So he's a little bit darker skin, like a little, you know, tanner skin. And then with his hair design, that's got like the top that's sort of curled around in there. So I think that's what that's supposed to be. But we've seen this face before with like Digitino and stuff. So it looks pretty decent. And then I like his armor with the yellow and blue. Just looks pretty Pretty cool of course reminds me of like x-men but he has this big chest piece that's pretty armed looks like a big armored like chest piece thing i wish there'd be more blue designs like on these lines here or in the center i just wish there was some more blue added into it than it just being the solid yellow color but he's got the yellow underwear with the yellow diamond and blue strap around it blue and yellow wristbands and blue boots with the yellow tips on them as well so i like i said i really like his color design but movements are going to be the same so head twist around actually he has like a little ponytail back here so it's going to hard to actually get his head to twist all around so maybe he he doesn't but you can look down that far and up that far so about the same shoulders up 90 and rotate all the way around single elbow joint that bends to 90 with the rotation and the wrist will twist all the way around and hinge back and forth then we get that twist all the way around at the waist the hips can come up and out to the side the single knee joint that bends back and has rotation the shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot flex back and forth and twist side to side. So the same as all the others. But for accessories, he comes with some cool things. So first we get this like helmet piece that goes on around his head. Of course, this big giant thing, nice soft rubber so you can easily get it slid on around his head. But it just slides on there and sort of like protects his head. But it's again all in yellow. It'd be cool if it had like blue, especially around here, around the outline. But it just sits around his head like that. So again, don't know what function that's supposed to be. But as I said, it's supposed to help with technology attacks. But I don't know what that'll do exactly. But I think that looks pretty cool. And then has a gauntlets that have tech towers attachments so we have these tech towers that look pretty cool so they just look like satellites with some like electricity little design if you can even see that on there sort of shooting off but we can clip these on his hands so there are those clipped on his wrist as well again would be awesome with some blue design on them so overall looks pretty crazy this is definitely a weird design but i really like it a lot i just think it adds more to him he has more design and sort of stuff on him compared to the other two characters but i just think he looks definitely the weirdest out of all of them with this design well, there's our three characters from this pack of Kikto, Holographo, and Zatman. But now having these, like I said, since this pretty much finishes off of the Sunman characters, we can bring all our Sunman characters in now. So there's all of our Sunman characters now thrown in. I know it's hard to see all of them, but we have Sunman, Pighead, Space Sumo, Digitino, Hypno, Duplico, and Boltman back there. So very cool to have all these characters now part of the Sunman universe. I love the designs of these with the array of different ethnicities and stuff. You know, it makes them stand out, it makes them all different, and I feel it makes them all unique and perfect to add in with the Motu universe so very cool to have this three pack now to add in and pretty much finish off the Sunman characters so let me know what you thought of this pack down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know with a thumbs up but thank you all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review